Hi, this is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com, and today I'm going to show you some of the new updates that Apple has put into the iPad App Store. Uh, they have to do with searching and with uh, previously installed purchased applications. So first we're going to go through and use the new search system. And so I tap on search here and I'm going to type fish. And we're going to come back with a bunch of results just like we would before, but now we're going to see new filters across the top. So I can say we're interested in just iPad apps and it'll narrow down the results. Only those that are free released within the last two weeks and that are educational in nature. And then you can see we've got two results there. Now of course you can just hit the uh, clear all filter button and um, everything's right back to the default results. On top of that what they did is they've changed the user interface a little bit. So as when you come across applications you've already purchased or installed, it'll tell you that it's actually installed. In the past, say um, Green Eggs and Ham here, which is a paid for app, it would have said buy now. Now, we've already bought it, so seeing a buy now button would be in confusing. So now it just says installed, so you already know that you have the application. Uh, not a huge difference, but and it's still not as good as maybe adding a new category here it says you know show all purchased apps which would be which would be great but it's still a step forward and, and definitely makes it uh, less confusing for the user so again that's the new functionality in the iPad app store from Apple I'm Michael Oral for mobileburn.com